so it's been a hot minute. Um, I don't even know where to start. Um, so I moved out, got the Rona, um, and then had like a bunch of other lung issues or whatever. <laughs> Can I make on this baby over here? And yeah, so that's why I've been MIA for, I don't even know how long, to be honest. I had posted a couple other things that I did take down because I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. Um, I'm probably going to approach that project later on. Not entirely certain, but as for this lovely little purple unicorn moon child fairy constellation thing that I have going on on my face um <laughs> that will be next video that's gonna be put up it's a little bit of a tutorial requested from a look I did um that I had posted on tiktok um but if my very near and dear friends need to ask for it I love you baby um I don't know if you heard that. I said, I love you, boo-boo. I love you. Um, yeah, my voice is like all types of shot right now. I'm really trying to stare at the camera, and I hope I'm staring, I'm staring at the camera. I can't tell because I, I want to keep looking at the screen, but... <sighs> Difficult. Um, but yeah, basically that's why I've been MIA, so to speak, and just not really posting on YouTube at least because it takes a lot, a lot more editing than I would like. Um, but basically what I'm going to start doing is a series. Obviously it's going to be like tutorials of makeup looks that I do and blah, 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 blah. Um, I will be trying, trying. I will attempt, I can't word, it's one o'clock in the morning when I'm recording this. I should be in bed, um, but you know, existential crisis and all that. So <laughs> what I plan on doing uh, moving forward with this channel, I do still plan on reading some of my writings every now and then until I start publishing them. I might start holding a bit closer to the belt um I want to do a bit more like parabolas work almost um parables uh not even parables I don't, that's not the right word god I can't word um is it parables I don't know my brain but basically I want to start it's still gonna be somewhat telling stories. I can't word. It's still going. It will still somewhat be myself telling stories of situations, um, but they are going to follow a bit more of a theme since we are approaching February. I'm going to be touching upon the season of love and love. I didn't mean to roll my eyes. It's, uh, no es que sea cínica y ya no creen el amor. It's, it's not that. Um, but, <laughs> so, I'm actually going to be reading something to you guys tonight that I wrote that I really like that goes with this makeup. It's called Constellation. If you guys want to read it, that is already up on my, in in my Instagram, on my Instagram. At I am Monroe 3 and that one it was a piece that I wrote um, before December 21st which was the night of the the day the night longest day darkest night <laughs> I'm not gonna say oh I was gonna say saying Green Lantern but <laughs> nothing to do with that so December 21st was a grand conjunction, which was like major shift that was happening um, energetically, which is a transference of like us from the 3D to the 5D 
enhancing. I need water. Boop, 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 boop. I've been drinking coffee this entire time too. Ew, I just burped, sorry. This is my Hydromate. This is not sponsored by Hydromate, but it'd be nice. Anyone, Hydromate, y'all wanna sponsor your girl? Cause I literally just spent like, I don't know, I think I bought like four more of these. Cause people were like, I want a Hydromate too. And I was like, you get a Hydromate, you get a Hydromate. Everyone gets a Hydromate. Sponsor me, thank you, love you. <laughs> um. All my dumbness aside. Um, so, yeah, Grand Conjunction, December 21st, 2020. It was, again, major energetic shift. And it was, at least for myself, it was a really big moment of releasing. If you guys have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, I do have a podcast titled Pop Culture. And you can listen to it on all podcasts platforms anywhere you listen to your podcast look for pop pop can't i can't word i can't word and i don't know why i can't word <laughs> um anywhere you listen to your pop pop cast pop wow i need sleep Anywhere that you listen to your podcasts, the um, just search for pop culture. It is the little one with the icon that's like all bright and pink and has like a tub of Hubba Bubba in it. Yeah, that's that's me. Um, that's my podcast. Um, I think what the fuck did I title it? This is why YouTube is never going to pay me. I dropped the F-bomb in, like, first half. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so basically, Grand Conjunction, um, planetary alignment was happening, closest ever, in, like, 800 years, um, Christmas star. It was a very, very big astrological cosmic event so to speak um you don't believe in none of that i don't know what to tell you i that, i mean if you guys are watching this if you guys saw me on any of my other platforms you know it bruja over here tarot cards crystals limpias <laughs> still go to church though when church opens i am a fucking conundrum in my spiritual journey but yeah so grand conjunction like i was saying i keep bouncing back and forth my thought process is not it at night when i'm sleeping what time is it it is one fuck it's 1 30 in the morning <laughs> um now i'm highly considering just leaving this on but my nine to five might not approve Mm. And that's on working for corporate America. Anywho, <laughs> let me not get fired. So, Grand Conjunction, super, super major cosmic event. <laughs> Can't work. Um, and at least for myself, I did a really big focus on releasing um, and releasing like self debilitating beliefs still working on it still have a lot more shadow work to do but one of the things that I did in lieu of the conjunction was I wrote a piece titled consolation which is really on the basis of like self-love and like really bringing yourself back to the realization that you are one with the universe and then I identify as moon child because whenever there is a change in the moon there's a change in me and it's kind of fucking annoying not gonna lie can't see so 
my ruling planet is the moon and I have a Leo moon very dramatic I'm a very dramatic little, little fucking piece of bleh, that got put together by the universe <laughs> but yeah that's that's the piece I'm gonna read to y'all today that's why I've been away I've been really just trying to figure everything out um of how I'm gonna structure everything and what I'm gonna do when and blah 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 but I did miss doing this so freaking much I miss you guys I was so happy that you know I got requested to like redo a specific look that that made me really happy I love doing this if anyone got a rich uncle <laughs> I can sponsor me to launch my career. Who please cause you girl is stressing. But <laughs> I'm just not being silly. Um no I'm not. But where was I going with this? Oh, so I was gonna tell you guys. February San Febrero. Um voy a estar hablando sobre el amor y el desamor. Y todas esas tragedias. But more so on a sense of like um, twin flames, karmic partners, soulmates, what any of those titles mean, what they mean to me um, specifically. And then maybe some pieces that I've written that go along with that. Um, I am going to be starting a separate youtube series with one of my girls rosie gold um that is going to be more so of like peeling away layers and talking a lot of shit so definitely stay tuned for that that is going to be on a separate channel i will definitely link it as soon as that goes up um keep an eye up keep an eye on my socials I can't word. Keep an eye on my socials. Um, at Drizzit's Wifey, at I am Monroe 3, um, on Instagram, on TikTok. I need to go post on Twitch. Haven't done that either. You know, slacking over here. But <laughs> with good reason, I promise. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, February. Vamos a hablar del amor. And then there's more and all the luxurias. Also, I'm going to start doing a little bit of a different format um, for my videos, for the tutorials. Instead of you hearing a voiceover of me when I'm doing all this, um, it's... I just went on GarageBand, made up some fucking music and put it on there because I can't figure out how to do the whole copyright thing yet. I mean, like, no, mm, not entirely true, but whole separate situation. But yeah, let's read this little thingy that I wrote. <laughs> this piece is titled Constellation. The map to the heavens was laced upon her skin like the weaving of a delicate web. Intricacies paved magically, a road to pure ecstasy. A bliss unseen, unfelt, untouched, untasted, erupted from her the moment she was conceived. Setting forth in life, a roadway for a destiny unimaginable to all those that would surround her. The shadows and light embraced her as one, and upon creation, gifted her all that she was meant to be. Moonchild, thriving in the moonlight as she soaks up the sun. However, not all shadow and 
Not all light approved of her weaving. So, along the way, were placed chains to subdue, to defile, to trample, to betray, and to bring upon the greatest pain. Heartbreak. For it was known that the soul that she carried within this vessel of moon and barren womb was filled with a love so few would ever understand. Her greatest lesson to a world unknown, longing to hold exactly her. Both the luminescent and shades wept. Was the story written with starlight on woven sky would tear away at all she was to be, to give and receive. Bringing her to her knees, heart clutched as porcelain tears marked her soul. From the very woes she welcomed in. Even then, her heart remained pure, strung up in gold glitter and silk, chains wrapped tightly as light and shadow smiled. The words escaped her. I let go. The luminescent in shades perspired, bleeding hymnals to earthly terrain, seeing her dance, longing to hear their song with which she was blessed once again, to give and receive visions flash forward of all life's past. As murals of music and dance lathered her memory, vibrations sending healing. As light and shadow screamed to block the sweet sounds of violin concerto, luminescent and shades beamed. For within the in between, she gleamed. The words found her once more, as in serene harmony, the moon and sun she kissed, her soul complete. I accept my release. Now, <laughs> that lovely little piece, um, yeah, is about letting go. You know, there's there's a strong notion within the universe and it's I guess we're starting February early since I'm gonna talk about this, but I saw a picture circa end of twenty fourteen, beginning of twenty fifteen. I know. Six years ago now it's insane to me. And it was like an inspirational picture on Facebook or whatever. And it's a little girl holding a tore up, battered, tiny little teddy bear. And it's God, right? Embodiment of God asking her for that bear. It's like, you know, give give me the bear. And she's like, no, but I love it. And, you know, he has his, his hand behind his back. And he's like, trust me, I have something better for you. But you have to let go of that first, right? 
and it, it, it was like a little girl and it got me to thinking of like how one childhood trauma is a thing um oof <laughs> it's gonna be a whole other situation but that that image honestly burned in my mind not only because of something occurring at the time but because it held true and does hold true for many facets of life. You know the saying, when one door closes, another door opens. Yes, that is excellent, if the door opens. But you have to have the balls. Steel fucking ovaries. To literally carry your fine ass across that fucking threshold and go and get what it is that you really want. Because if you don't, someone else will. Or that door will close. And you'll miss an opportunity at whatever it is you were aiming for. There's something that I, I've always said, right? If you say you don't know, then the answer is always no. And the reason I say that is, say you're questioning, right? If someone is like, I don't know, somebody like likes you or whatever. And you're like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Well, then the answer is no. Not because they, I mean, you know, whatever someone's feelings are, that's entirely their knowledge. But if you don't know, it means you haven't asked, right? So then, of course, the answer is no. It's, it's the same concept of, like, you know, you, you just keep saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And change is hard. It's scary as shit. But, I mean, I guess that's not a kind of leap of faith, right? <laughs> Whew. I'm leaping. <laughs> Without a safety net. Oh, lord. <laughs> but, you know, it just... It's something that I always thought of. In order to obtain better... You have to let go of what no longer works. And whether that be people, habits, things of the sort, you cannot make true progress until you do release them. And that's in turn what that whole piece is about. It's about the releasing of all the bullshit. All the self-debilitating beliefs. All the self-saboteur. Because I am a queen of self-saboteur. And then, you know, I'll sprinkle that with some anxiety and depression. And all this other negative coping mechanism bullshit that I did for years. Oh, baby. Whew. But... It really is a moment of sitting with yourself and thinking what the fuck do I really want? And then allowing yourself to know not believe, to know that you do deserve it. There's something that I put on TikTok the other day where I said, I have that little voice inside your head that is screaming that you can't do it isn't actually you, nor every other person that's ever said that you can't. It's not, an, it's not a testament to your capacity. It's you believing that you can't. You believing that you don't deserve it. 
you believing those self-debilitating ideas and negative coping mechanisms and believing the little anxiety voice and who that little anxiety voice Ooh, you ever want to fight yourselves <laughs> letting go is exactly that fighting every day well that is all I have left to say because I need to go to sleep because I'm getting hungry why am I getting hungry now it makes no sense but I hope you guys enjoyed it as always it's your girl Ella V or Drizzit's wifey or Monroe or however the hell you know me um don't forget to follow all my handles at I am Monroe at Drizzit's wifey on everything else I love you guys so much um les mando muchas paz muchos besos les recuerdo que miren hacia la luna sending you much peace, many kisses, and reminding me to always look up at the moon. Thank you, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye!